the locations I feel are characters themselves. I think in a movie all the time. When you choose a location, the location, as much as an actor, speaks for itself. We're down here filming the aerial sequence. We've had them throughout the, the career of the Bond films, but this one we wanted to kind of uh, have a sort of retro uh, dogfight. These are propeller-driven planes, not jet planes. It's the type of planes that drug runners would have, and so it's, it fits the location. For every one camera position up here in the mountains, it takes three helicopter trips in and three hel helicopter trips out. So it's a pretty arduous uh, task. We have aerial cameras, we have two cameras on an Aerostar, space cams on helicopters, and then we have uh, some very long lenses up to 1600 millimeter that go on the ground. To work this airplane in the bottom of the canyon, you gotta be uh, uh, physically strong just to maneuver the airplane. We're in Panama City right now, and uh, Panama has a really diversity of locations and looks uh, which are really useful for us. It was great working on the streets of Panama because you get a sense of what the real Panama City is like. It's got so much like life and, and character. There's also the party which will be shot here. This sort of a ruin, ruin I found here which I really fell in love with. Hopefully this will look a lot better than it does today. It's a really brilliant place and this place in particular was um, the old union club where all the rich people used to come and party and now it's like an old shell and we've revamped it. I think the set is beautiful. It's, it's stunning. It's amazing. I really love it. Finally, the real fun is starting.